Hey guys, Michael Wright here from Unfiltered Gamer, and the fine folks from Esker sent me an Esker gaming chair. It's black, it's big, it's beautiful, and I'm going to give you an informational video on how to set it up step by step. There's about eight steps total, and when I get done with this, hopefully when you get your chair, if you decide to pick one up, this informational video will be very easy for you to understand as to how to set the chair up together, and maybe it'll be a little less uh, complicated for you. So let's go ahead and take a look down below, and I will show you how to set it up one step at a time until you get a full, beautiful black gaming chair. Okay, so step one for your Yesker gaming chair is pretty simple. You're going to place the base of the chair upside down and then insert the casters into the bottom of the base. These are casters and or the wheels. And all you gotta do is simply take these and place them inside so they're nice and snug. It shouldn't be too difficult for you to do so. If you're putting a lot of pressure in, uh, just be careful with that. But really, it's really easy. These little things uh, have little washers and they fit right in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of these guys here real quick. You should have a total of five of them and they're gonna go in all of these little holes. And just like that, step one is done, which means that now you have the very bottom of your gaming chair and when you flip it over, it will move like this, nice and smoothly. Step one done, let's do step two. Okay, so step two is we're going to install the gas lift and then we're gonna install the gas lift cover. This is the gas lift and it's gonna look like it has a little button at the top of it and it's actually pretty big and weighty. That's because it's gonna go right down the middle of this hole. So once you take the base and you turn it upside up, turn it back on its front, so that way the wheels are on the ground, you're gonna take this thing and simply push it directly in and nice and snug. And then you're gonna take this cover here and make sure it is aligned just like this so it's gonna hold like that and place it right on over the top and that is going to give you your gas lift cover. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but that is all you need to do for step three, or two, let's do three. Okay, so now we're on to step three, and step three says align O and P with the holes of the seat and then tighten the screws. And basically they're gonna give you one of these things here which comes with the L and the K screws along with washers, and then N, which is gonna be your tool. Now if you're me, you have one specifically handy for this in your garage, and you can simply use one of your own, but if not, it'll have this one here, which is fine, but your own's better. Uh, what you're going to do then is you're going to take each of these sides here and you're going to position them based on how it shows in here. And it's going to show them with the arms going like this and coming up with the uh, the cuts or the, the, the openings going on the inside on both sides. Uh, for the one that has the lever, it's going to have the, uh, I'll just show you. It's gonna have the spring coming out just like this. You're gonna take a washer for any of the areas that have a large oval, and then for the ones that don't, you can simply not use a washer, but put a washer on the screws that do, and then tighten them up. You have to push them in pretty good, uh, but once you push them in, slightly turn it softly, make sure it gets inside, and then you can turn to tighten them. And just like you would a car tire, tight, tighten one bolt, then the other, then the other, then the other, until they are both secure and snug, and they fit well, and do that for both sides. This side's going to be sturdy because it uses a lever here, and this one's gonna kind of dangle there just like this. And that is pretty much all you have to do for step three, and you'll still be using these tools here to turn them clockwise. Anyway, let's go ahead and head up to step four. So now we're on to step four, and that simply says to install the mechanism and the armrest. This is the mechanism, and this is the thing that's gonna push the chair up and down with the base, and you're going to align it just like so. This is the back of the chair, the, the uh, front of it is facing downward. Align them so that the screws are gonna align with these spaces here, there's four of them. And then on each side is gonna be one of these uh, armrests here. And you want to make sure that these little uh, poles are gonna be on the outside facing outward. So when you hold it, you'll be holding it like this, moving it up and down. Put the on either side as well and then screw all of this in. I'll go ahead and screw it in now and then after I screw it in I'll show you what it looks like so you know how you do it right. So we finished with step four now. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like. Basically we just took four of these guys here and they have the different areas in which you can kind of move them left or right if you want to kind of give yourself more arm length or uh, less depending on how wide your shoulders are. So as you can see here we have two here two here, and then four, one on each end here. Make sure just like a tire, you're gonna tighten them softly, 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 until they're snug, then you give them a good tug to make sure they're all in. And that's pretty much it. You have this one over here, which is gonna basically move this up and down, as well as your armrests. When you turn this over, you've got your beautiful armrests ready to go. So it'll be able to go uh, front and backwards. Let's see if I can go up and down and that these rotate left and right as well. So you have that all ready for you. Anyway, let's go into the next step, step five. So step five is gonna have us combine E and F and align the holes with the back and the bottom here and tighten the screws. And by that, I just simply took this piece here and attached it to this, and it's really easy to see, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you anyway. So 
on this side here, this is the mechanism we just installed a little bit ago, there's going to be that upward portion now, which you're going to do the same and put one on each of these areas here and attach it. You'll probably have to push them, I suggest doing one and then the other side, and then you're going to go ahead and take it to the other side and go ahead and attach it over here. It's easier with two people, in fact I use two people who want to hold this while I screw this in, but I suggest going ahead and doing that with two people. And make sure you snug them both and then tighten them equally and uh, you're pretty much ready to go. It should look something like this. So we almost have our chair put together, as you can see, and let's go on to step six now. Okay, so step six is gonna be using the M5 screws. And they're gonna be the small screws labeled M here. And you're just gonna simply take those and use your screwdriver they gave you, or if you have one at home, I suggest using one of these, and you're going to attach all the pieces, and they're going to align up together. You literally cannot mess this up. All you're going to do is have them match the outer areas here, put the screw inside the hole, and place it along the, uh, the, the basically the hole that's on the inside here. Screw this one in tight, screw this one in, and then on the other side, you're going to do the same thing. One over here, along with one here, and then one up here. If it's hard to see, try and have it aligned first before you put the screw in. Get a flashlight, and also use a screwdriver that has a long handle, so it's going to be easier to get in there and utilize it. Fairly simple though, process was pretty easy to go, and also maybe it might even help to use this little lever bar here, so if you can't get a good grip on it, you can actually pull this lever up and push the chair back, and then they'll give you a little more room to hold these guys in and fit it in. But that's pretty much it for step six. Step seven and eight are rather simple, rather easy. I'm gonna go ahead and show that right now, and that'll be it for the chair, and you'll be done. Okay, so I did step eight before seven, but I don't think it's gonna matter much though. All you're gonna do is, now that you've got the top, all you're gonna do is take that top and place it right on top of the bottom area. There's a little, basically that little button I was talking to you about before. Simply take the little hole from the top and place it on top of the button and fit it in and then sit on it and your chair should be good to go. You should be able to lean back on it and it should be able to, you should be able to pull this lever here and it should go down, no big deal. Uh, and yeah, there you go, no big deal. As well as this should be able to go up and down and to the side and to the side. So that should be how that works. Now seven is a fairly mundane thing, pretty simple, but you're gonna take these guys here and you're gonna look on this thing here. So this one is basically supposed to go something like this. This will be the fun one. Where we take this little strap here, we're gonna pop this strap off and the same will go for the other side as well. I'm going to sit this guy just like this, and this guy like this. And then you're going to take this guy here and fit it through the bottom area here. So it should go right all the way through the bottom. And if we get it right, it should be able to connect it just like that. And you do the same for the other side as well. Go ahead and find the little opening down here. Fit it right through. Hopefully we're doing this right. The most challenging part. Okay, and almost there. Ha! We got it. This one here is supposed to go up, and we'll connect it just like that as well. And if done correctly, which I think it is, it should look something like this. Something like that. Uh, this one here, so this can actually go down a little bit, just like this, for your back. And this one here is going to go straight through the headrest. I don't think it matters which way you want to do it, but you take this and this, and you attach it from the back here, and that should give you the support you need. I'll make sure I'm right. Looks like I am. And that should give you your back support and then your head support and that's about it there should be two extra screws here an l and a k in case you need that uh and like i said you can do all this with just this tool here but i would suggest using these guys here and the last little thing is on the bottom here when you're setting this up to make sure you don't mess up there is a the, on the bottom here it's gonna say front and back place the front facing the front of the chair face the back facing the back of the chair which means this little knob here is going to go on the front okay and that is pretty much it that's going to give you your your chair here looks good let's go ahead and take a look ah fit it in i'm a big guy i don't know if i can even fit this yeah that looks about right it goes in it goes out Anything else I'm missing? I don't think so. If you want to adjust these guys, you can from the bottom. You can push them in and push them out based on undoing the screws once again. 
But that's pretty much it. I think you guys got it. It can go up, it can go pretty high, and it can go back. Whoa, whoa. It can go back pretty far. Okay, actually, it's, it does support me, that's cool. Anyway, there you go. There's <laughs> your chair all set up. If you have any questions, you can go and ask below, and I'll try and respond to you, or the kind people from yesterday can. But thanks, guys, and as always, I look forward to seeing you guys next time.